video of a police chase in Middletown that sent two people to the hospital with serious injuries. We also have a new video and a story that we first brought you here on Fox 19 now that police chase in Middletown sent two people to the hospital with serious injuries. Yeah, we have a uh, dash cam video and Ken Brown joins us with how this chase started in the first place. Yeah, that's right. So this is the video that we brought you first a few weeks back of the end of this crash. This is the aftermath that you're looking at. You can see debris scattered all over the roadway in this one. And now we're getting a look at the high speed chase that ran through both city and residential roadways in Middletown. There's an unamusing irony in this police pursuit in Middletown because this police chase ends with broken car parts being scattered all over the road. And it actually started in the parking lot of an auto zone. Middletown police say Christopher Spicer is the man behind the wheel and you see him go over the sidewalk here to get around police. A release from the Middletown chief says Spicer was being investigated by the Special Operations Division and he was a person of interest in an ongoing investigation, which is why police tried to stop him in the first place. As the truck takes off, police follow going through both city and residential areas with the chase ending in this wreck at the corner of Roosevelt and Jackson. Officers arrest Spicer and charge him with several things after allegedly finding drugs and guns in his pickup. Spicer is also facing two counts of aggravated vehicular assault. According to the crash report, two people inside the vehicle he hit were seriously injured and had to be taken to Atrium Medical Center for treatment. The police chief tells us that those two that were injured are doing much better. Spicer is facing a total of six felony charges.